this video series, we will learn about how to uh, deploy and manage Redis cluster in Kubernetes using kubedb. So first, uh, let's have a look at uh, what is sharded Redis cluster. So uh, Redis is, uh, you know, Redis is an open source data structure, uh, data structure store. We can store different type of uh, data structure in Redis, such as uh, string, shorter sets, sets, and streams. And uh, Redis have uh, different modes, standalone cluster and uh, Sentinel. In cluster mode, we have uh, concepts of shard. So your data will be divided into uh, different shards. So let's have a look at a simple Redis cluster configuration. So uh, here you can see uh, we have uh, three master and uh, three replica. And um, in this configuration, clients can connect to any master and slave to perform database operation or uh, connect uh, using service. So here uh, in each shard, there is one master and one replica. So they have the same copy of the data. So the replica always try to replicate the master and uh, always try to keep up with the master. And when master node fails or cannot accept any connection due to network partitions, the slave will take over as master. And uh, when uh, the slave takes over and master wants to join again, it will configure itself as a repl as replica and join with the master. So. Uh, in the next video, uh, we will have a look about the challenges of deploying Redis cluster in Kubernetes and what kubedb is offering. Thank you.